Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Captain Frost and today I'm gonna talk with you about how skills will work in Path of Exile 2 with a little bit of a disclaimer at first. So Path of Exile 2 will be a complete separate game to Path of Exile 1. It will have a different end game, monsters, uh, items, uniques, classes, passive skill tree. It's It will be a completely different game. Path of Exile 1 will still get all the updates and leaks. Leaks will not collide so you can play Path of Exile 2 and then after one month uh, or something like that you will be able to start a league in POV1 and then come back to next uh, league in POV2 and so on and so on. So basically POV2, POV1 still will all both be safe and good places. They will balance them all, they will update them all just like they are doing now basically with developing POV2 and updating POV1. So that's uh, out of the gates. Uh, now we do have our skill systems. And as you can see in this gameplay, um, this character definitely has a bunch of different active skills available to him. So what's the benefit of using them and do they have cooldowns? So uh, as developers stated, they don't want cooldowns in their game. They don't feel fun for them. Uh, and they think that yeah, waiting for your cooldown is not a good feeling. So we will have multiple skills them being all being able to be a six links and stuff like that and there will be no cooldowns between them with some exceptions where it's a very powerful skill and but there will not be many of them and uh, now why do you why will you want to use many of them because they are all very synergistic uh, for example with this uh, monk uh, gameplay showcase you are freezing with so uh, there are there are some skills that have very high freeze chance then there are some skills that are blowing up your enemy that is frozen then there are some skills that if you are killing the monster with that particular skill you're gaining power charge and then there are some skills that are using power charges for you to make a powerful blow at the enemies and stuff like that and because we do have uh, the reworked uh, jewels uh, the, the reworked um, skills socket system uh, and how the skills will work you all know it from path of exile from exilcon in uh, from first exilcon uh, we will have enough room for us to get a bunch of different active abilities and we will have uh, very um, powerful synergies between them so that you will want to use them as you can see the gameplay itself is way more smoother and slower a little bit because it needs to give you this time in order to have all the synergies in place and for you to feel the synergies and so yeah, but that's basically how POV2 will feel, how it will play, how the combat of the game will go. Uh, and it it's it doesn't affect Path of Exile by any means. POV1's combat is going to remain the same how it is now with uh, all the usual updates that are that we're getting. But it will not be a revamp for POV1, uh, more of a one uh, button gameplay style uh, because of how different uh, these two games are, and that's why they're separating them and they will updating them uh, separately. So yeah, basically this that's how uh, your skills are playing in POV2. Uh, and there are um, changes to mana reservation as well. We will have spirit um, in order to reserve. Uh, so we will have a complete separate mechanic, a complete separate resource that we will res uh, spend to reservation skills and your mana will be open now. Uh, I have a separate video, video about that. Um, yeah, so we, we wouldn't have any cooldowns for our skills. We wouldn't have... Uh, too much of a change but we will still have synergistic gameplay that will uh, push you to play more different uh, skills um, yeah there will be a bunch of new cast on uh, something mechanics uh, such as cast when shock uh, and there will be many many different uh, smaller changes but in general the gameplay itself uh, you will have your dodge ability that it doesn't have cooldown. You will have your multiple abilities that you will be incentivized to use. Um, and many melee abilities will, most of melee abilities will have small mobility. So, uh, melee abilities, yeah, will, small, uh, will have small movement uh, part to them so that you will always feel that your character is moving and your character is more mobile rather than your caster ones and there will be a bunch of caster abilities that have some movement speed tied to them as well and we will probably not have our regular flame dash sleep slams that you can spam um, very efficiently as we do have now but there will be smaller movement going all around with uh, small in smaller portions 
uh, with your different skills just as we can see it in monk here so monk is one of the most mobile uh, skills that are um, um, classes that is going to be present in Path of Exile 2. So yeah, we will have 12 new classes, uh, not 12 new, 6 new and without an Ascendant in POV2. There's a bunch of different changes. Thanks for watching. Uh, there will be more content on the channel about POV2 and POV3 322 that is coming quite soon. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good time. Bye.